All right, so that was Ultra Tank. Let's move on to our next game. We're going back at home, playing some Fearchild Channel F. This is the other home console you could be playing in 1978. This is Video Cart 15. Memory Match, which I, I already can tell what it is. It's, it's got to be a card flipping game. It's Memory Match, right? You just pick a card and then go to the next one. It looks like we got two games, Memory Match 1, Memory Match 2. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and play it. So this is February 1978, playing Memory Match 1 and 2 at home on the Fairchild Channel F. Okay, we got uh, which game do you want to play? That's G question mark. So on the console, we push which game I'm going to push number 1 on the console. And it looks like it's... Oh, it, it flashed all the uh, answers for us. Did everybody see that and memorize it? Uh, I, I missed it. So so now I have control of my, my... They call it a hand controller on the Fairchild. I move my hand controller around. That's me as the green line. Can I move up and down? Okay, I can move everywhere. And then when I want to pick one, I am pulling up on the controller. The way the hand controller worked is it had an up position and a, you push down position. So I'm pulling up to select a card, pulling up, and I didn't match those two. Uh, I'm not playing against a computer. So it's a, this, this is the one-player version. And all I'm doing is going around and guessing which one, which one is the match. And it's scoring me. It's giving me two points, even though I've gotten the first two incorrect. I don't know what that means, but uh, how much fun could you have as a kid in the 19, in 1978 playing this at home, memory matching the cards? Uh, just pretend it's 1978 and think about being that young. I'm, I'm thinking I'd rather have Atari. Sorry, Fear Child. So we're giving this one, again, below, way below average. This is in the bad range of one or two stars. And because it's... I'm going to say one and a half. This is this is bad. Uh, a bad game for 1978. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next game. Still at our house playing Fear Child Channel, Channel F. This is Video Cart 16. Dodge it. And I'm surprised Fairchild opened up with several games that had multiple modes. In, in one cartridge, you could have several games. But now we're seeing one game in one cartridge. When Atari had released titles that had not only several games, but several modes of several games. So it's it's not cutting it. So here's the, the box for Video Cart 16. Dodge it. And it looks like dodgeball based on the artwork there. Here's the example of the cartridge. The cartridge gives you how to uh, how to control the hand controller because it's a little complicated. Atari simplified it with the one joystick, one button. That's the way to go. All right, let's play Dodge It. Hey, EJ Baby Doll, welcome to the chat. It's February 1978. We're at home playing the Fairchild Channel F, and we're playing Dodge It. And it looks like did the game start by itself. It did. I didn't have to put push anything on the console. So I am the blue dot dodging the red dot. Can I do anything on the walls? No, I can't. Oh, and the red dot got me. So I get this groovy Technicolor game over. That's pretty cool. I, why is it carving into the wall? Uh, so it moved on to a totally different screen. And now I'm again the blue dot. I'm moving around the, the board. Do I got any different controls? I'm trying different movements on my hand controller to see if there's anything else. But no, it's just dodge. Dodge it. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing. So uh, they started with one pixel. And now they've added a second pixel. But we're in seven, 1978. We got to use our imagination. These aren't pixels. I am a dodgeball player. And they're adding dodgeball players to the field and I got to just keep dodging wait no not dodgeball players the their balls they're just adding more dodgeballs and I'm just dodging all the balls so they just keep adding more and more okay yep and it's it's going to increase the difficulty because now I have to avoid more of the ones they add on the screen <laughs> so I'm playing the one player version they have a two player version but I don't have anybody at, at home with me in 1978 so I'm playing by myself right now this it's just going to get harder and harder. And it looks like it's just... Oh, get, oh, they got me. So they're racking up the score the longer you last. But groovy game over screen, man. I love it. All right, cool concept, but still pretty basic for what we've seen. We're going to give this one a three. I'm thinking maybe three or three and a half. Any suggestions from the chat? Of if they think this should be above average for the time or just average? I think we'll go for above... No, we'll go average because it's one game. We've seen multiple on one. So three stars for Dodge It. All right, moving on to Video Card 17. Pinball Challenge. And we have seen this variation before. Looks like this cartridge comes with 
Pinball Wiz, Crossover, Block Shot, Cooperation, Pro Challenge, Double Block, and then 132 game variations. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. So here's the cartridge of Video Cart 17. Looks like all the different games are how to, how to play. We got games one through six. Yeah, so uh, six different games we can play. But um, essentially, uh, Pinball Challenge looks like uh, what we saw uh, Steve Wozniak program for Atari. It's called uh, Block, Block Out. So uh, let's take a look at Video Cart 17. This is February 1978. We're at home playing the Fairchild Channel F Pinball Challenge. Which game do we want to play? We'll start with game one. So we push one on our console. HS0 Green 14. Uh, I don't know. Are we playing football? They just randomly flash some stuff on the screen. So uh, I am the green slider at the bottom. And as you can see, I'm uh, moving back and forth, left and right. They obviously had seen this in the arcades because this has been since the early 70s. But it is, the, it is essentially the same game. And that's pretty much it. So it, we are playing Breakout. Uh, th 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 but they're not calling it that, obviously. But it's the same idea. So nothing special we've seen up to this point. But we'll go ahead and reset. Push and reset on the console. Let's check out game two. What is game two? Is game two any different? Game two looks pretty similar so I'm one, oh, I just went through the wall on the right side. I don't know how that worked. I, I wonder if they mean the 132 game variations as uh, like slight differences, maybe a color difference. But uh, sorry, Fairchild, Child, it's, it's okay. But considering what we've seen, Atari had Video Olympics. This was released last year. This is below average. So uh, two and a half, just because they're still doing something, but below average for the time. So two and a half stars. I could dig it if it was uh, the only thing I had. If my parents bought a Fairchild instead of Atari, that'd be terrible. I guess we go over to our friend that had Atari and uh, if we had Fairchild at home. All right, so next is Video Cart 18. This is Hangman, which is Hangman, if you've ever played that on a piece of paper. At this point, I think developers were, th were saying, what are things kids do and let's try to make it into a video game? Yeah, kids play Hangman on a piece of paper, so let's put it as a video game. Here's the box for Hangman, and there's the example of the cartridge. Uh, we have the manual, but it's Hangman, so uh, I guess we would want to know how the hand controller would control it. But let's check it out. It's February 1978, playing uh, Video Cart 18, Hangman on our Fairchild. Which game do we want to play? So it looks like it's doing a... Is this an attract mode? No, it's not. Okay, so it already started the game for us. It already gave us a first letter. All I'm doing is I'm twisting the controller and I'm picking what letter I like to guess. So it's like we're playing Wheel of Fortune now. We'll do M and we guess M and it throws the M over there and then I got a head. So it's Hangman. Uh, is there any other game variations on this? There is, it says 64 game variations of, of Hangman. So we could go through, but it looks like Hangman's the only game, even though there's different variations. We could play this on paper. Probably have more fun on paper than the Fairchild. So, below average. Uh, in fact, bad. I'd say two stars. Uh, maybe uh, you, you have to think of, if it's 1978, at this time, just the fact that you're able to control something on the screen is a novelty. So, as a kid in 1978, just the, the idea that you can do something where on your hand controller and it's changing something on the screen was revolutionary. So, it, it would be a big deal, but considering what we've seen... Eh, two stars for the time. <laughs> From the chat, Casey Cloak Kirby said, I feel like that was the best one we've seen so far today. <laughs> All right, moving on to checkers. Another game. What's some games kids play? Uh, they play checkers. Okay, turn into a video game, quick. So this is checkers on the Fairchild Channel F. There's the example of the artwork. Uh, Fairchild's done a very minimalist approach to their artwork for their boxes. Atari went all out, did uh, very professional artwork for their boxes. Uh, and then there's an the example of the cartridge of what it would look like. Big honking cartridge, if you've ever seen a Fairchild cartridge. All right, so let's take a look at... Uh, let's pop in our uh, checkers on the Fairchild. February 1978. So here's checkers. How you play this with the hand controller, I'd love to know. 
Uh, so it looks like it's automatically started the game and I am uh, moving the controller around to select the board. If you can see, it's just, it's just changing the selection, but to play checkers on this is so clunky. I'd rather play checkers on a table instead of this one. So we're going to say this one, not good for the time. Uh, it, it's, it's the concept they already know how to reproduce. They know how to make checkers, but to make it functional on this system, not good. So uh, two stars. I'd say bad. Anybody want to say lower than two? I could go lower, but I'm thinking it's it's just it's just bad. <laughs> oh, my mistake, Casey Club Kirby. He was talking about the best one as the Dodge It game, and I agree. Dodge It was pretty good. All right, so let's give this one uh, two stars. All right, moving on to our next game. Looks like we got a few more of the Fairchild to pop in. This is called Video Whizball on the Fairchild Channel F. This one looks like something we haven't seen. Here's an example of the box. Uh, Video Cart 20. Whizball. Video Whizball. On the cartridge, just like every other Fairchild, it explains how to play. It looks like we got six different game types. Um, it says game four. Okay, so you have, and it shows you how the hand controller works and what you can do while you have the game going. All right, so let's take a look. We're popping in a video whiz ball. We're in 1978, February, playing our Fairchild Channel F at home. Okay, so it looks like game 14 does it automatically start for us. I don't see it starting automatically. So what we do is we go to the console and we push uh, button one. So we wanna play the game, please. We push button one. No, I guess we don't push button one. We push button four. And we play the game? Okay, yeah, so we push button four. Of course, four. Why not? So I am now uh, the green dot on the right side of the screen. I'm getting shot by the left uh, blue uh, block on the screen. And I'm trying different uh, tactics where I can twist. So I'm twisting the controller and I can make my square change shape slightly. But um, I'm wondering if I'm supposed to catch the the blue dots that are coming at me. Oh no, maybe I'm not. He just erased me from existence. Okay, so I'm now back on the screen, but I'm guessing what is the goal when I, I'm not supposed to collect the dots, but I'm, I, I'm not able to shoot, am I? Oh, I am. Okay, so I could shoot him across the side. And what you can do is uh, you push down the hand controller and you make uh, a, a shot fire off. But um, we, it looks like we just have obstacles that are in our way. Yeah, the, the, the big blue, or sorry, the big red blocks in our way and then it is just firing and moving around and oh so if you can use the blocks to your advantage i see so you you fire your shot and if you hit one of the giant red blocks it actually shoots away from you and can hit the other player so here i can push it push it and then make it go over there and it bounces off the side so this is using uh very advanced for the fairchild physics that it involves uh, the propulsion of, you can see the red blocks shooting off, and I'm trying to get them to, uh, to hit the other one to collide with the, 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 the blocks and then push off against the other side. And then the harder I push, or I, the, the more shots I shoot off, it ends up making them go to the other side. Okay, so that's, that's very interesting. And it, and it has us not only shooting each other with the single pixel, but it has us trying to use the, the giant blocks as projectiles. Okay, so as simple as the game concept sounds, we have not seen this, where we are using a projectile to shoot another projectile that and then then in turn gets progressively faster and faster how you hit it, and to use that. So very cool. Okay, so a video whiz ball. That was something we haven't seen yet. Not even the arcades had the concept of hitting uh, shooting something and then it, uh, it connects with another object and that object does a movement. Of course, I know to us, but you got to think 1978. So this is, uh, I would say, a very good game, especially for the time. Uh, so it took me a while to understand what was happening. Once I realized it, playing with two people, this is something we haven't seen before. So four stars for Video Whizball. Somebody programmed that. Somebody did. All right, moving on to our uh, last game on the Fairchild Channel F for 78, at least so far. This is bowling. So we just saw some in the arcades. Let's see what Fairchild does for bowling in the home. You can't have a bowling alley in your own home. Well, I guess some people could, but here's an example of the box art for bowling on the Fairchild Channel F. Looks like we have uh, one or two players, and then uh, if you push forward, you release the ball, and you can curve uh, the ball for bowling too. Okay, sure. 
All right, let's pop in bowling in our Fairchild Channel F. This is February 1978. Checking out bowling. Which game do we want to play? Let's play game one. So we push one on the console. Are you ready to start? Sure, start. All right, so this is bowling. If you're just tuning in and you're not believing what you're seeing, yes, someone on Twitch is actually playing a game from 1978 on a home console that most people probably did not have. Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. Let me go. Oh. Okay, so it's really, really quick of how fast it goes back and forth. But that, that's, I guess, the timing. Let's see if I can make it twist. If I, uh, yeah, I can't. Okay, so once you decide which trajectory, then it twists to the side. All right, got to get a strike here. Come on. Oh, my gosh, missed one. Well, we got the idea. It's bowling, and it works. It's functional. It plays uh, really well. So that's pretty good. Average for the time. I'm thinking three stars for bowling. It's good. It works. And with uh, two people, uh, it'd, be, it'd be a lot of fun. Pretty simple and plays well. Something else to keep in mind is a lot of these games, the play control is very, very different than what everyone is accustomed to now. And while not everyone can be seeing the play control, you're only looking at the graphics and hearing what the game sounds like. But as these games are being played, I'm having to adjust and pretend from the beginning, 1971, what it was like to play a video game and how they started clunky and then they got smooth in some places. And notice how some developers are recognizing how to make good play control work for a game. So even though this is just bowling on a home console, the, the way they were able to make it work simple and it uh, it's smooth, where you it, it functions, it's it's fun.